right? I think we're I think we're going live. I think I'm live. It looks as if I am. What's interesting though is that it doesn't look like it's live on my personal page, which is really a big bummer. All right, cool. But it changed the dumb thing. Oh well, whatever. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to another episode of In the Studio Live. I am going to be mastering a pretty gnarly, like hard rock, radio rock track tonight. And it's gonna be super fun. Um, I just want to give you guys some updates on me, give you a little bit of uh, understanding. I think there's going to be a lot of new people. I'm working with some cool bands out in, um, oh man, where are you guys out of? If you're here, you got to tell me. It's, it's not Arkansas. It's somewhere. It's somewhere out west. I don't know. I'm on the east coast. We only know like three states out here. So, um, But uh, there's, it's going to be an awesome show tonight. Um, before I get into drinking beer, I wanted to mention to everybody a little bit about uh, things that I got going on. So I run a, um, it's basically like a community on Facebook where you can go if you want to, uh, if you create music, uh, it's basically a giant family of musicians, producers, mix engineers, um, and we all hang out and talk shop and teach each other all of our tips and tricks. So if you want to level up your music, definitely check that out. It's called the Home Studio Fast Track. I will make sure to put a link in the description of this live stream so you guys can check that out. But it's a great group. I highly encourage you. If you're if you're just getting into music or if you want to make it sound better, check that out. It's going to be, uh, I think, a huge help for you to have a community of people that you can ask questions to. So, um, and uh, it, it's kind of crazy. So the, the live stream thing started out as just me showcasing some of the work that I had coming in the studio and it's starting to progress now more into more of a little bit of behind the scenes of the musicians. So the next uh, few episodes that we have coming out, I'll actually be having the different bands or musicians with me uh, and we'll be talking about how they made the music to create a process and all that. It should be pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, and then we'll dive into um, their music and kind of uh, do an analysis and, and dissect it in almost kind of like a... a a mixed critique, I guess you could you could say, um, but it's uh, yeah. So there's a lot of cool stuff down the road. I'm excited to see where this all goes, and uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out, spending your Thursday night with me. I am going to let's see. Oh, check this out! I got some awesome beer. Oh, here we go. So we got uh, from Fort Smith, Arkansas. So the band tonight is is called Last Frame, yeah, and they're from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Sorry, guys, I totally blew that. But uh, without further ado, check this out. We got the beer cam. <laughs> so tonight I am drinking yet another DC Brow brew, uh, Brewery beer because those guys are my homies and they make amazing beer. I want to read you the description. It's, kinda, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fitting for the, for the song tonight. Um, so th it's called uh, On the Wings of Armageddon. It's a... Uh, Imperial IPA, so we're going to get kind of sauced up tonight, I guess. But uh, yeah, so it's um, a strong bouquet of citrus and grapefruit hints at uh, what is to come. An intense hop character invades the palate with resinous tropical flavors. Light bread and biscuit notes balance the assertive falconer's flight hops for a smooth and refreshingly dry finish, making this brew deceptively easy drinking at 9.2 ABV, baby. And it's 110 bitterness units if you want to be a nerd about that kind of stuff. So cheers to you guys. And uh, we'll jump into this session here in a sec. Oh, that's, that's trouble. That is delicious. It's like super fruity, tropical. Um, very drinkable. Oh, man. That's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in trouble. <laughs> All right. Cool. Without further ado, um, I want to also, hey, um, if you guys are in the chat, um, say what's up. Let me know where you're from. And um, yeah, just let me, uh, let me know if you make music or if you're in a band or if you're mixing, mastering engineer, whatever. Um, so it looks like we have uh, Angel Mirror. Oh, man. Uh, Chaz, Chazon. Chazon? 
Is it Anhel Mir? I don't know. I, I'm bad with names, man. <laughs> but yeah, I also, yeah, I want to definitely give a shout out to Steel uh, Dorch, who runs Studio 221. Um, he, he has been such an awesome engineer to work with. So he did the mixing, the engineering and mixing of this track. Um, so I want to give him a shout out. And then again, thanks to the band called Last Frame for letting me do this. So this is, uh, this is really cool. All right, let's bring you guys in the session. So this is what we have tonight. Let me just give you a little sample. Um, we got, it's, man, it's just like a feel good party song, which is something that I need right about now with quarantine and all this stuff. Beer cam. Nice, big chorus, digging it. Okay, awesome. So shout out to Dan. Um, he, uh, he apparently works with Steel, so I'm guessing you guys work together on this track probably. Um, this is sounding good, man. So, so... In terms of mastering, if you're new and you're just hanging out with us and you don't write music, but you're just having a good time tonight, uh, mastering is basically just finalizing the song to get it ready for release. Okay, So I'm listening to this track, trying to find things that might not sound good on different audio sources that are being played back, like earbuds or in your car. And I'm just going to kind of adjust things to make sure that we're getting as uh, much impact and vibe out of this track as possible, and it's going to sound amazing anywhere okay so some things i'm noticing right away is we gotta this snare is a little bit aggressive which is totally fine because we're going to slam it back down when we start bringing up the volume uh so we want to adjust that and then we'll kind of just tweak some uh tweak some things from there um hey dan I, I have a question for you so what what uh what do you do for steel i'm very interested so you like um do you do you help set up microphones are you mixing tell me a little bit about you man Okay, so go to, for rock like this, definitely going to be uh, an SSL style compressor right up front. Um, I do want to check out, the, there's a lot of low end in that kick, and I want to make sure it's not getting too low because what's going to end up happening is it's going to be, it's going to be sending some false signals to my compressor and it's going to make the music duck too much. So I just want to make sure this is nice and tight down here. Okay, so yeah, so it's a li yeah, so we have a little bit of extra information. I think we this is a little extreme, but Cool. All right, so I just like I said, I'm just trying to tighten this up a little bit. Awesome. We got the studio owner. How long have you guys been in business? That's awesome. Everything that still sends me out of your studio is amazing. All right. So actually, before we go start compressing everything, I think it sounds a little bit, I think it's a little bit hollow sounding. And so there's a few ways we can approach it. One is we could cut the lows and highs. I don't really like doing that necessarily. I think it just needs a little bit of a bump up in the, in the mids right around like five to 700, right around this range. Um, so, but before I do that, I, I just want to talk about this because it's super important, and this came up in my discussion, my community that I mentioned earlier. So in the home studio fast track group that I run, um, we were talking about the importance of referencing your music to something that you know really well or something that's really that you know is mixed very, very well in the, in the same genre. And if you if you're not constantly going back and checking to make sure that you're you know in the right ballpark for this this like the you know, the overall sound, 
you can go down these rabbit holes and then you end up like taking a song and making it sound way worse at the end. So there is a song that came to mind, which I hope some of you guys know, and I think some of you will, but uh, it's by this uh, amazing person named Andrew WK, and he had an album that came out like in the early 2000s, but it's like the best party rock music of all time, and it just sounds awesome, and it, it, this song kind of has that same vibe. So... I want to reference this track. Now, I know it's going to be way, way louder because it's party metal, man. It's got to be, like, super loud. So um, I'm just going to do a quick reference just to see where we are sonically. If we're in, like, that, that uh, if my gut instinct that we need to warm it up a little bit is right or if I'm just kind of crazy because I've been drinking this um, amazing IPA right here. So let me bring you back in. So here's... This is called Metric AB. This is an amazing reference plugin. I used a bunch of other ones. This one is like way, 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 way better than any one I've ever used. So let's um, let's just see if we're in the right ballpark. Man, it's so much louder. <laughs> You know what? It's actually pretty good. Um, we might not need to even mess with that. That's amazing. Yeah, you guys, I'm telling you, Studio 221, if you guys are in uh, Arkansas, you need to check these guys out. All right, just, just humor me. Let's see if this sounds a little better with a little bit of a bump here. I just feel like it gives the guitars a little bit of weight. I just, I have to do it. Have to do it. So, question for you, Dan. Um, with the studio, owning a studio, and I know you guys are tracking, has, I'm assuming that this, this, uh, this whole quarantine thing has been probably not the best thing to happen to a studio owner. Um, have you guys been doing okay? It seems like you're still getting music out, but I'm just curious, um... You know, how has that affected you guys? Because I've switched to online only, so I, I just trying to, you know, do what I can do to, to keep, keep making music. But um, I know there's a lot of people that are really trying to figure out how or where to go. So I'm just curious, what, like, if you guys changed your strategy at all and, and how things are going. Um, and I think that'd be helpful for, like, some of the other people that hang out and watch tonight just to see, you know, like, what other people are doing. Because I know there's a bunch of musicians and uh, mixing and mastering engineers that pop into this live stream to hang out. So, okay, let's do some best year yet. That's awesome, man. That's great. Well, I, I'm happy for you, man. That's awesome. So, did you guys change anything at all? All right. Um, all right, so let me just talk quickly about what I'm doing with this compressor. I'm slamming it super hard so I can hear the movement, and then we're going to adjust everything to taste. But the release has to be as fast as possible, and then we're going to go way over the top just so we can try to time the groove of the compressor to the song. Cool. Thermometer. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> yeah, do you have one of those? You got, do you have the gun ones or do you like open up, bend over? <laughs> so I think I'm feeling this. This is a nice. The, the punch is still there. Um, we're not really... Let me see. So we're, the things we want to always listen for is make sure that we're not destroying the snare and the kick. Okay? Like, those have to stay punchy. So whatever we do, we want to be thinking about that and making sure that that's still there. If, if you're not really listening for it, you can just make your snare sound like... Um, 
as I would quote my uh, friend Joel Wanasek, he said my snare sounded like um, a wooden spoon hitting mashed potatoes. So you don't want to ever do that. So lesson learned, now my snares sound like cannons. <laughs> Okay, let's be a little bit aggressive and then let's dial in the release character. That's way too slow. I actually really like it at 100 milliseconds. It just feels good to me. You know what I mean? LA one sec. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you want to ruin a snare, put LA one on that. I swear. Cheers to ruin snares and uh, LA one a sec. Or L1 a sec. Sorry. Use my French. Uh, so, is it, uh, Gra is it Grammy Brooks? Grammy Brooks. All the way from YouTube hanging out with us tonight. What's going on, man? All right, cool. We're getting a nice movement now out of this compressor. I wish you could turn this meter off. I went on a rant on my last live stream about meters and how, it's, how it screws you up. All right, that feels really good to me. Cool. All right. So uh, let's see what we got going on. Um, so I just always have a bunch of plugins preloaded. This, I mean, honestly, like, this mix is pretty solid. I don't think I need to do a whole lot to it. Let's see if, if we just kind of pop this up. Graham, like Graham. Gotcha, man. Sorry about that. I'm dumb sometimes. All right, let's bring in my favorite EQ for mastering. Not always, but most of the time. All right, let's just add a little bit of sizzle on top. Ooh, man, let me... You know what? This, this 9.2 IPA is getting me... Uh, Getting me hot, and it, I, I'm a total like nerd, and I have this uh, stream deck thing, and I literally have a button to push when it's too hot in my studio, so it turns the air conditioning on. So we'll see. I hope that works because like if you could see the amount of sweat running down my back right now, it it's awful. <laughs> uh, this EQ is awesome because it just sounds good, Anthony. So this it's just this EQ is just very very gentle, a lot very wide sounding. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It just doesn't sound harsh, and it's again it's probably because of how wide the bands are. But it just it just has like a good shape to it. I don't know. Someone figured it out a long time ago, and you, it just works, man. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with with the low end too, but I feel like the low end's pretty locked in. So I just want to make sure that we're bringing out a little bit of like the nuances of the vocal, um, but I'm trying to make sure that this, the cymbals don't get crazy. So, honestly, all right, here you go, Anthony. We're going to get a little crazy. Dude, rep your hood. Since by man, dog. I was just looking at, like, the early 2000s, like, hardcore Facebook group or whatever, wishing someone posts, like, the last show for the Since by Man show. Too good, man. Probably best show of my entire life. I've never been to a show where... 
they take a watermelon and throw it into the ceiling fan. Like, just saying. Like, it got rowdy. <laughs> uh, all right, so check this out. This is going to be kind of a fun thing for you, Anthony. So this is what we're doing. I want the brightness of the vocal up, but I don't want the symbols to be brighter because they're already pretty bright. So we're going to use a different EQ. We're going to use Fab Filter, and we're going to put it in mid-side mode. Vocals are living in the center channel. Those symbols are stereo, so they're mostly on the side. Um, so what we can do is put this in mid, and you'll hear when I solo this band, it'll be mostly vocal. So See that? So I got to be careful too because that snare is going to come up with it. Uh, okay. So check this out. We're going to do something different. We're going to do, oh man, I haven't done this before, but we're going to try something. I'm going to experiment tonight. I'm a scientist. That's what I do. Real talk. Like my day job is a research chemist. <laughs> All right. Check this out. This is what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do um, mid-side, multi-band, upward, or, yeah, upward compression, I think is what it's called. All right, but basically, we're going to go mid-side mode. This is wild. So side, I want mid, 100% mid. Okay, so let me make sure that we just hear those vocals and snare. Yep. Okay. So there that's so now what we can do is we can boost this up, but now when that snare hits, we can compress it. Okay? So this way we get the best of both worlds. We're going to be getting um brightness when the snare isn't hitting and when the snare hits it goes back to normal. So let's see if we can make this work. This is just a thought. We're going to do a little experiment. I don't know if this is going to work. It might sound like trash. But let's see. Let's find out. Here we go. Alright, so I also need to do a little side chain. Man, this is getting really complicated real fast. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah, because now we have to. Now we're getting into like making the knee a little bit harder. Uh, let's just figure this out. Something else we can do? Let's do this. This is a simpler thing, which I like. I like simpler any day over uh, complicated. We're going to use wave center, and we're going to push up the center channel a little bit. And that should bring out the, that'll bring out the vocals, but I'm, that snare's going to come right with it. And then we can just kind of center the lows, make the highs go on the side more, center this. So yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna have to play around with this. It's gonna be a, an interesting game of like give and take here. Yeah, I just need to, I'm going to be a little bit gentler with this, but yeah. So, um, let me know. Hey, if you guys are hanging out with me, give, I got, I got one person from Arkansas, Dan's from Arkansas. Um, where are you guys from? 
I know, I know there's people on Twitch. I know there's people on Facebook. I know there's people on YouTube. Let me know where you guys are from. So you can hear how much uh, North Carolina, what up? Are you getting hit with a tropical storm right now? <laughs> All right, so this is my best effort to make those vocals come forward a little bit more. Um, so check out before and after. So this is without this little the center channel boost and then the, the multi-band uh, trick that we just did. And then with it. After all these bills, I couldn't tell you. It's where we are in. Now light a cigarette. And I think it needs that because right now the image to me sounds like you got people rocking out on guitars and they almost sound like they're in front of the vocal a little bit. So we want to make absolutely sure that the vocalist gets pulled up right in front. Um, you just have to have it there. Just have to have it there. Otherwise, it's gonna sound. It's not gonna keep up. You know, when we bring back Andrew WK here, bring back some party hard. We're gonna see that Andrew WK is right up front. He's partying hard, but this song isn't keeping up. You know. See, Andrew. Andrew's right there, man. Okay, cool. Uh, I think there is some... We're going to go back to that EQ and then just make a, f a few more little adjustments. Um, let's see. Yeah, where, where am I at? Here we go. We might not... We actually might need to bring it down to 10K, which I rarely have to do. Um, let's see. Well, that's good you guys didn't lose any power because, man, it could get... Those tropical storms messed us up, man. Last last time the storm came through for us, uh, we ended up... Our basement flooded. So we had a... Uh, that was hectic. We had, like, a shop vac down there, like, trying to, like, suck up the water as it's, like, coming in. Yeah, it was, it was not, not good. <laughs> I think this is pretty good. Okay, um, I'm gonna put my insurance policy on. So if you guys have been, if you've been to my live streams, I call this uh, multi-band my insurance policy. Basically, it just uh, jumps in anytime something gets a little too rowdy. So I keep it kind of chill, but it's just there to calm things down. <laughs> You know what happened though? That's our snare. Our snare went bye bye. So we gotta fix that. That snare's gotta hit, man. Snares make records. I'm, I swear. I guess I live forever. Let's go to the epic guitar solo. There, all right, cool. We got our snare back. All right. Cool. It's, this is sounding good. It's, I'm digging this.
Yeah, I'm really listening to that snare. Um, Got to be super careful about it. Like, it can we cannot sacrifice the snare. All right. Um, so at this point, let's just try to get this thing, like, cranked up and just rocking and see how loud we can get it. And then then when when we have it at, like, really loud, aggressive levels, that's when the deficiencies of the mix are going to start poking their head out. And then we can come back, make some few tweaks, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Uh, Roy, man, seriously, like, you have... And, and it's crazy how fast it can go away. And if you're not always paying attention to that stupid snare, like, it'll just be gone, and you won't know where it went. Which is why I'm kind of thankful it's so loud in this mix. So, all right, let's start, let's, let's start getting crazy with some levels here. Alright, so let's do the, the settings suggested by Sonics, which is crank it to 100, and then dial up the curve. This plugin is amazing, man. Dude, Roy, thank you so much, man. It means a lot. Like, I'm super passionate about this, like, this kind of stuff, and, uh... You know, when I hear people that I've worked with previously come out and say, like, yo, thank you so much. Like, it sounds awesome. I love what you did with the songs and album. Like, it really it really does mean a lot. So thank, thank you. I appreciate it so much. All right, it's getting, it's starting to get rowdy. It's getting loud. So it's super important also to make sure you're bypassing stuff. So it's so easy, like, because I keep, like, this plugin is designed to make things loud. It's easy to like, as you're pushing up, you're like, oh, it keeps sounding better and better and better. But you got to go back and, and to make sure it's level match. So when you bypass it, it it's the same volume with it out as before um, to make sure it's not getting all distorted because you won't even, you like stop hearing the distortion because you're so excited about the volume. So let's, uh, let's just double check to make sure this is the right move for this part of the song. It sounds pretty good. Um, the kick drum's starting to pop out, but that's going to get smacked back down here in a second. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So let's let's pull up soothe, of course, right? I knew Anthony. I know. I know you're going to say something. So I'm just going to drink this beer, this on the wings of Armageddon beer, this delicious Imperial IPA by DC Brow Brewery. Wink, wink. I'm trying to get that beer sponsor. I'm waiting for Anthony to say something about Soothe. He's gonna he's gonna start running his mouth. He always does. <laughs> must be so crazy. Time for some magic, y'all. Alright. Soothe. Let's do it. Alright. So uh, there we go. That's thank you for the love, man. Appreciate that, Dan. <laughs> Gave me some hair whips. Aaron, what's up, homie? All right, so Sue, let me just talk quickly about this because I have to. This thing gets rid of all the crap we hate in the song. So we can literally hear all the crap it's taking out. It's all this stuff. So it's all the sharp, wispy stuff that nobody likes. So... It basically, oh, sorry, I should have showed you what it was. So basically, it, it takes rid of, it gets rid of all the wispy crap. 
Um, it's a it's called the resonance suppressor, I guess. Maybe I guess that's what they call it. Um, but if you dial it in right, basically it takes all the ringing out of cymbals. It can take the sibilance out of vocals, and it's adaptive, so it changes with what the song is and and what is happening. Um, one of my favorite things ever is to is to uh, yeah use this on a master bus, but you got to be super careful because a little goes a, a very long way. And if you have the attack too fast, what ends up happening is that you get the vocals a lisp, and you start killing the transients on cymbals and snare and kick drum, all the stuff that has like a nice like bite to it. So I always have the attack dialed way back, releases super fast, so it's pretty transparent. And then I actually been recently switching it up so that it's affecting more the sides than it's affecting in the the middle. So, um, yeah. So so you can actually dial this thing so that it's leaving the vocal alone, but it's taking care of more of the cymbals in the mix. It's pretty awesome. Oh man, we got some some peeps. We got Spawn Demon from Twitch. What's going on, man? Welcome. We got some, oh, you got Nos? Man, you got to get a beer, man. What are you doing? We ain't drinking that Nos. We ain't trying to stay up all night. Living life, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We could be friends, dude. We probably are. We are friends. We're like soulmates. <laughs> a reverse sponsor? <laughs> Me too. I do that with beer, though. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you, man. Oh, you're giving stuff away. Well, I could stay up all night drinking that stuff. <laughs> all right. Oh, snap. Thank you, Roy. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the follow. All right. So let me just, let me show you what Sud does. Let's, let's take all the crap out right now. And if you go too much, listen to the lisp we give the, sing the singer. Sorry, Wayne. I, I apologize. Actually, it doesn't even sound that bad, which is nuts because we're going way overboard. All right, let's find another spot. Here we go. There we go. Let's take it out, and, and then I, when I put it back in, you'll hear all this like horrible noise come back. So we're too aggressive. Let me dial this back. I went a little overboard because I was getting too excited with the soothe. We, we want it to still kind of have like... We want the brightness there. So if it's starting to sound dull, if Soothe ever sounds dull, you need to take, take the attack and crank it up. That gives it a little bit more edge. And for a rock song, that's what we, we want to make sure that we have that. Awesome, man. This is sounding good. I, I don't even understand what all those exclamation marks mean, man. I'm a total Twitch noob. Fill me in. Someone tell me. Bring me up to speed. All right, let's get this. Let's bring this baby up. Also, I want to mention, um, I got a new toy. I'm not a plug-in person, but my dear friends at IK Multimedia hooked me up, and they gave me this, this limiter for free. Um, this is their stealth limiter. This thing's pretty cool, man. Um, we'll see. It might sound better than, I was playing with it a little bit earlier tonight. It might sound better than my go-to fab filter limiter. And maybe I just need to like update my, my Pro L to the Pro L2 or whatever, but 
whatever. But yeah, we're gonna shoot these out. See which one we like more. I'm excited. Um. All right, cool. So let's 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 get this thing rowdy. The other thing it has right here, Unity Gain Monitor, the best feature in the world. So I can turn this knob up, and it won't increase the volume, so we can hear how it's ruining the song, <laughs> basically. So listen to the kick, listen to the snare, listen to the vocals, and when things start, what's going to happen is as we're increasing the gain, it's going to sound more and more full, and like the spaces between the instruments are going to start closing in, and I should like get a zoom lens. So then all the instruments are going to start like closing in on each other, and at some point, that kick drum is going to start sounding f like flumpy and nasty, and then the snare is going to not have any punch or impact. So when that happens, we went too far, okay? So let's just crank this up, get as loud as we can. Right here, you can definitely hear the kick drum distorting, so we gotta back it off. Right here, it's feeling pretty good. So this is at 7 dB, okay? Um, let's see what, let's see how Fab Filter holds up at, at that level. Let's put it at 7. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hold up. Got to make sure that it's a fair, fair uh, shootout here. I have to, oh, my fingers are there. We got to make sure that this output gain is at the same, so... That should be right now. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump back and forth between these two and see which one we think sounds better. Okay, so um, whatever one isn't yellow is the one that we're listening to. Dude, the Fab Filter one kind of is disappointing me, you know? It's, uh, it would lose a lot of the brightness, and I'm, I don't know if it's, like, because this is cheating under the hood and it's louder or something, but this thing's, this thing's just too good, this, uh, this new stealth limiter. Oh, snap! Pete Balo, what up? Aw, thank you, Spawn Demon. That's very kind of you. Cheers, homie. You can drink your Nas. I'm just going to get hammered here. Pete, welcome to the uh, big old Pete. Welcome to the live show, man. Why don't you Why don't you tell everybody where you're from? Actually, you probably don't want to tell them that. <laughs> yeah. Also, everybody who's watching tonight, Pete Balo just ran his fastest 10k he's ever done. So give him a, a shout a shout out in the chat. It's pretty awesome, man. Like, if you would ask me if my brother. Mr. Peter Balo would ever run in his life. I would have told you that you were smoking crack. And, uh, dude, he's just crushing it right now. He's on this, like, health journey. And I couldn't be more proud of him. He's a good dude. But good for you, man. Proud of you. Let's listen to some... Here, for you? Wait, wait, hold up. Pete, we are referencing the best song in the world. I think you would approve. Um... We're making sure this song is as good as Andrew W.K. So the bass is a little bit more extended on the on Andrew W.K. Because he's he just knows how to party, man. <laughs> Dude, it's sounding good. All right, one more thing I want to check. So I always like checking this. Sometimes you put a clipper before your final limiter to kind of take away any really loud peaks, like that snare maybe or the kick drum. Um, it'll, it'll make the limiter at the end work a little bit less. And sometimes you can get a few more like tenths of a dB gain out of the track by clipping it first and then hitting it with the limiter. 
Um, so let's just check that out and see if, if we can like get this a little bit louder. Let me just make sure we're at the same level in and out. I don't know if I'm feeling it. It could be I'm just like being stupid and like going way overboard. Which is a very fair assumption. Man, actually, listen how much that brings out that kick drum. Like, the kick drum gets a lot cleaner and a lot punchier when, the, when, the, when we have this clipper in. Wayne, what is up, my man? Cheers to you. Beer cam. I told you, dude, we're having a good time here. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me, man. Really appreciate it. We're just comparing your song to uh, Andrew WK. I hope that's okay. I might be dating myself because I think this album came out in like 2005 or something or 2002. But it's the best party album of all time. I don't know, man. Ours is, our mix is sounding pretty good, man. It's sounding pretty good. Woo. You know what? I haven't looked at the levels at all. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's see if I was able to make this like stupid loud for you guys. That's that's the right volume level I like. So we're looking over in this corner here. If we hit integrated at like minus seven we're kicking butt if we're in like minus six we're like ready to party and then minus five is like party hard like andy wk <laughs> oh sorry i have it on unity gain compensation so now we're gonna get the real volume so turn your speakers down we're about to get rowdy here we go What? Oh my god, is it loud. That is nuts. I've never, ever, ever had a song that loud. Hold on, something's gotta be wrong. It can't possibly be that loud and sound that good. Like, is this screwing something up? Let me bypass this. That's wild. It is slamming. Oh my god. All right. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Like I, I okay, so here. Let me um I I had it off of this. Look at how crazy it's so loud. Oh my god. Look at that. It's too loud. Guys, it's too loud. I never thought I would say that. Like this I'm not comfortable. Man, but it's not it I think it is starting to kind of crunch up a little bit on us. I'm going to have to double check some things. Like, I got to bring it down, man. It is too loud. You know what, Spawn Demon? I'm with you, homie. I'm a hot dog kind of guy. Corn dogs, like... Corn dogs remind me of like funnel cake, which reminds me of like Mountain Dew, which then reminds me of like festivals and carnivals and then clowns and like cotton candy and throwing up. And so like that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like I can't do the corn dog, man. I've been, I've been sick too many times at too many carnivals to be, to be doing, getting on the corn dog train. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
there is so much sweat dripping down my back right now. Like the studio gets so hot with all these lights on for me. I need a fan, but I don't want like a fan b- making noise in the microphone. Why don't you come outside? It's Oh my god, it is so loud, guys. I don't care, though, dude. It sounds good. Like, everybody is going to be jealous. They're going to say, how the hell did you get it that loud? And it's because... Okay, so let's talk about that, actually. Okay? The whole loudness war game... Sorry, I had to get a sip before I go on a rant here. The whole, like, loudness war thing where they're like, oh, it needs to be minus 10 dB. Um, I get it. Like, people want certain genres to stay um, dynamic. That's totally cool. And, um, but the problem I have is when people want to institute standards or, like, a set loudness level... Um, across all genres, because that doesn't make sense. Because what if, let's just say, the feeling and the emotion that I want to evoke out of a listener occurs at minus 7 dB or whatever, seven, minus 7 LUFS or whatever loudness standard you want to talk about. Like, those rules wouldn't allow me to get the right aggression out of a track. Like, that's crazy. That doesn't make sense. And so maybe for like 95% of genres where, you know, they want a certain sound and they want to be really dynamic, that's totally cool. But like, sometimes you just want it loud, you know? Like, like this track sounds better loud than quiet. And I promise if you, if you take this track and you upload to Spotify and you master this track quieter to what Spotify recommends and upload it, you're still probably going to like this track more. Like, it's crazy. It just, it, it, it'll, everything just fits better in the mix. And I don't know, man, it, it's a, it, it's frustrating for me to see that, especially when I work with like a lot of aggressive beat driven music, because louder sounds like if it just sounds like, depending on what you're trying to do, right? It sounds better. So and, and a lot of times people equate loud with like bad sounding, but that's not necessarily the case. If you have a good mix, like this is a good mix. We, if, when things are balanced correctly, like that snare sounded really loud coming in, but guess what? After it's mastered and after we do this processing, it's exactly right because it's hitting the compressors in the right way and it's making the music move the right way. And then when we, that allows us to then crank up the volume a little bit more and we still have a punchy snare, a punchy kick. We have the vocals up front, and everything is glued in, locked in place. And it's loud as hell. And like, how, like, it just blows my mind that people get so frustrated with it because this is pretty awesome. Like, it sounds really good. And um, I just, I just had to say something. I had a rant. I had a rant. Oh, Volley, what's up, homie? That's my, my Twitch family is like, off the chain tonight. Spawn Demon's been drinking too many of them nauses, I swear. <laughs> Volley, I don't know if you were here. So, Stereo Hanger is Volley uh, on, on Twitch. Dude, did you see how loud this track is? Like, it's crazy. We got it way too loud. I, I, I've never turned a song down just because just I felt a little bit weird. But, like, check out how loud this chorus is. Look at this, dude. Oh, I don't even know if you can see it. Anyways, it says minus 4.8 LUFS. Like, that is the loudest track I've ever mastered in my entire life. Dude, thank you so much. Appreciate you stopping by, man. So let's just, let's just run through this track one more time. Cheers to everybody. We're going to give it a good listen, see if we notice anything. Uh, we're going to listen for the punchiness of everything, the snare kick. And then also we want to make sure it's loud and rocking and that when the chorus hits, it's impactful and doesn't like... It, we want to make sure it's adding energy. If it doesn't, then we're going to automate in 
some like volume curves to it to make sure that those courses like slam you really, really, really hard. All right, so let's check it out and make sure that everything's feeling right. Cheers. Going to LA, dude. Awesome. It's good, guys. (laughs) Thanks, man. Dude, this sounds good. Way to go. Shout out to Dan. Shout out to Steel. Shout out to the band. Um, you guys arranged the song right. That You recorded it right. It's mixed right. We got it louder than any song I've ever heard on planet Earth. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of tweaking to it and do some little bit, little bit of automation. And then uh, I'll, I'll mix this down and send it over to you guys to check out. Um, dude, uh, this band, yes, it's called Last Last Frame. Um, I have them linked in the description. And last, this streaming service I'm using kind of, maybe I'm just dumb and haven't figured it out right, but the the descriptions have been like changing to like two weeks ago. So if that's the case, give me like 12 hours and I'll update all the descriptions to have all the links to the band, links to uh, Studio 221 so you can check out the engineers there and and, uh, um, also put a link to the beer uh, and uh, and any of the plugins I'm using if you guys want to check those out. So yeah, and I I will say you guys guys should uh, definitely implement some sort of... uh, beer cam in your twitch live stream because that it's fun man uh i'm gonna try to figure out how to do like a voice modulator thing so i can be like beer cam but i i don't, I don't have time for that right now <laughs> trying to mix trying to try to make some records baby After all these bills, I couldn't tell you where we are in. Now light a cigarette, let's go to the last chorus Man, it is, uh, as a safety net, I'm going to, I hate to do it. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the, uh, the follow. Let's drop that down. All right. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to save this. Oh, wow. I can't believe I went this entire time without saving my session. That's a bad thing to do. Uh, master check zero one. All right, cool. All right, I'm saving this. Um, I'm going to call quits tonight, guys. It was super, super fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, If you guys didn't get the message, I do this every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, same place, same four places or whatever. And uh, I'm going to do my best to make sure the stupid live stream thing actually goes to the damn event page because it hasn't been doing that. And if you uh, want to learn more about this kind of stuff, I have a YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash Raytown Productions. Uh, There's lots of cool tutorials on mixing, mastering, audio production. I just did some cool stuff on on some, like, gear for your studio, like cool lighting and stuff. So check that out. And then also I have a Facebook group. Uh, It's a community of musicians and, and audio and basically any music creator. And it's just a support community where we trade uh, like tips and tricks and uh, just it's good networking opportunity. Check it out. It's called the Home Studio Fast Track. I'll put a link in the description for everywhere so you guys can look at that. Join. Come be a part of uh, the club. It's super fun. And um, yeah, with that, I wish you guys a wonderful evening and I hope to see you on the next show. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to Last Frame. Check them out if you haven't. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful night, everybody. Take care. See ya.